the Betiana Santico to go scoring it up in Sogakope for the first time. They've either played in Accra or Kumase. But this time Liberty switches venue and Mudasiru got this ball to goalkeeper Abalora. He puts himself in a mess, but Liberty failed to take advantage as Kakari's ball. Him wasn't the best as well, to be fair to him. I should be putting the laces through that. He should be clearing that. Kotoko coming close. Okra gets the ball into the net. The flag had already gone up. It won't count. Yeah, he looks stunned, Justin Okra. And you can see the complaint from the bench. They don't think that's offside. If you see that again, you can tell if he had restrained offside or, or not. But that's what Liberty also must keep an eye on. This boy, Justin Okra. This time he sends it high. And Amofa, the centre back, is interested in stepping forward. This is Adamu! To the side net. Yeah, lovely switch of the play from the far side to the right hand side of the attack from Wayo. Did well there, but Adamu, you know, it's very. Leaders. Here is Imoro with a touch dip into the Liberty box. Osman goes up, and Simpson with a back header to his goalkeeper cleverly collects it for Liberty. And there have been question marks about also keen games and tough games. They would know that it's a possibility they can drop points in those games. So, but they know it's, it's a game they must win or they should win. Here is Wayo up against Imoro. Goes past Moro, sends a cross in just across the face of the pot. That was tricky from Wayo. I'll tell you what, from where we sit, that really did look like it was going into the net. And Wayo is on it again. This Wayo. Gets him past Imoro, who has been struggling all day. Take a look at the shape of the Check ball. That was deflection of Imoro. Yes, that was almost bending in as well after the deflection. Nabalura was too still, not sure what he saw. It's calmly dealt away by Liberty now. Here is a moment when Bright Ando put the ball for Wayo. He sets up Ivan Sousu, creates the space, and goes in with his belter. And Abalora is beaten to it. Not sure who was complaining to Abalora. Once the player take the ball out of his feet, you know what is coming. He should be expecting the drive. Probably wasn't concentrating as he should. Should be making a save from there. Credit to Ivan Sousu for taking the strike from there. But however you look at it, it's poor goalkeeping from Razaka Balura for the standards. He should be doing a lot better at this level. He shouldn't be beating any goalkeeper at this level. It's a poor goalkeeping. And there you see it. Got a hand on to it, but they didn't make the save. Modosiro came close. For Asante Kotoko, but goalkeeper Bar was equal to the task. First half ending with Liberty, the better of the two teams, leading at half time 1 0. Kotoko stepped up with two substitutions early from the beginning of the first half and accounted for them as some of Rimpon came close with this cutback, but that touch on Kumi. Liberty could have made it too, but for that clearance from Christopher Nettie, that header by Kakari was always heading in that net. Yeah, was well, going into the net. Always been a big fan of defenders. He's taken on to the one post during set pieces and it was a free header for him. Moro's delivery onto the head of Ganiu and no problems for Asante Kotoko's captain. Didn't look like there was any marking around him. Yeah, it was a free header. Yeah. But the ball into the box was good. Ghani was not going to miss from here. It's a tiring header. It's a powerful one. From that range, from that spot, there's no way he misses that. It's a good goal scored by Kotoko defensively this ball. Liberty kept probing, looking for the second and the match winner. But this some good goalkeeper from Abolora. He lost his balance but managed to stick his leg out and get the ball away. While you sets up Adamu. But look at this defending from Ganyu. Clever, timely. So Asante Kotoko, Liberty sharing the spoils here in Sogako. You say it was a fair result? Yeah, exa exactly. It was a clinical performance on both sides. I mean, yes, we happy to take the lead. That also created a lot of pressure on our opponents who raised their became a very difficult game, very, very balanced game. And uh, eventually, they got their equalizer. And when they got a equalizer, my team raised their game once again, and they came very, very close in getting the winning goal, but they couldn't. But uh, the game itself was very, very clinical and very, very, very interesting. I mean, and the development of football 
was clear indication in the game and uh, it went very very well mm. so one one draw is a quite respectable result for mm. both sides but that means that um, it affects your position on the table you are, you need to at least accumulate as many points escape from that relegation zone um, what does that mean to you guys going forward as you seek that yeah well we were expecting to win but it couldn't but that's also we project as for subsequent matches that will be coming on us. But better still, we work very hard because our challenges and difficulties in this game, then we have to and program ourselves very well for subsequent matches that we shall face. And by the grace of God, things will go very well for us. All the best with that. Amen. Ghani, congratulations on your performance as a man of the match today. Thank you very much. Was it something you were expecting today? Well, uh, we were expecting nothing less than a win. But Alhamdulillah, one point is better than none. Hmm. Now, that goal you considered, um, was it something you thought was really worth conceding a goal like that? Well, it's a game. So we wouldn't say it's as a result of one of, one of, uh, one of the players or not. But we take it in good faith. And then, inshallah, our next game, we try to just amend and then keep going. That header, you, you're not fond of scoring as many goals like that, but that was a really good one. Was it something you really prepared in terms of the height in the box against your opponents? Well, uh, what I could only say is uh, it's a goal, and whatever happens is just a goal. So, alhamdulillah, for scoring. Well, position the table, is this something you guys can maintain going forward and probably win the league at the end well, of the season? Well, maintaining on the top is hard, but we're just going to take game after game, inshallah, and we'll get there. All the best. Thank, Thank you very much, man. Man Sato phones accessories. Man Sato phones accessories. Or no, and I saw my son, Mamma Dij Medi, and so Eddie Ebro said, Phone covers now pe Papano, phone protectors, Papano, hands freeze, Papano, charges a Papano, Man Sato as we have been in Nabiato. Samsung a pen drives, memory cards, memory card readers, Nafi, Bluetooth headset. Man Sato on a Papano on a sway. Papano, a honey ton of quality goods. In terms of phones accessories, there man set two phones accessories, and I make come for them. I do Kumasi a chabaro build in him no war. Ne branch in a back one so El Kajitia, a ho, and soon on a second branch, you know, and so war. Se Uba be two ako tong, Uba be two bako ako yuzi, man set two se bra, no new ni a year, Jumadino, so what you are here, and ya good ye. Zero two four four, zero two seven three four five. Zero two four four, zero two seven three four five. And only number which my friend man set two also. Uni Kumasi, but there will be our per se, who to be torn one. Fremance two, or be package up as on a crown, Eddie Abreu. Obezo to Cotton as little as two hundred Ghana cities. Two hundred Ghana cities, you heard me right. With my name, be bri, Ako, Aqua Cotton, now if you want to do Sika Gubutu, Bucho, Noako, Aqua Kudi. So, man's two phones accessories, and I may come for, and so I want phone accessories, a papa dear, a ho, and I will customize our customize.
So what you see? Customized charger, customized charger. Man, set two phones. I said you should be heavy. On only cream, mum, did you make the end?